are going to be excited with that kind of opening. Canucks trying to snap a three-game losing streak. The Maple Leafs have won four in a row. These two teams played Thursday night. The icing call right off the hop. Mitch Marner nearly came up with it. I was going to say, we've got plenty of practice this year. This year, and here's Matthews again in front, and he shot the rebound wide after a big stop by Demko. Of course, it's Marner bobbles the puck, but now you get a quick little turnover, hits him in the zone right off the skate, and now just goes hard to the net, gets it in tight, and tries to go back to the forehand. But good save there by Demko on the stick, but in midair was able to get a piece of it, just not by four. The shots in favor of the Canucks here with. Just over six and a half to go in the first period and a face-off win by Vancouver. Here's Pearson scores! Tanner Pearson posted in and the Canucks strike first tonight. Do the set play and watch the movement here. Pearson down to the side, quick little shuttle pass. And because Tavares got tied up with Dermott there, there was nobody to kick out and take Pearson. Now you got a seeing eye shot right off the post. And in. You can see Campbell drifting a little bit too far to his left, but Pearson, with his head up the entire time, makes the perfect shot through traffic. Elliot said that's a bad I, plus minus. That doesn't mean much. Why he <laughs> said it. Matthews scores! Austin Matthews! It's 37! And the game is tied! All you need is a little bit of time, a little bit of space. On the dump in, you, you got to win one draw, get it up the other way. Nice job of delivering the mail by Marner. Dump it into the corner, get in and retrieve. That's exactly what Felino does. Two passes later, it's back in the back of the net. Another one off the post. So often, Matthews, get yourself out of traffic, get set to shoot, get a little bit of a break on stick to stick there on Miller. There is Dermot. Oaklander from the corner. Up high at JT Miller walks in and Campbell stops him after some nifty stick work by JT Miller. Turnover, get into the four check, a nice pass, and how about this? Dipsy Toodle in around and he pulled that part of it is just having the ability to have confidence in the game. Great pass to Brooks across Thornton and a huge stop by Demko who got the arm up on a dangerous two-on-one and a quick shot by Thornton. Brooks has got his head up the whole way, sliding that one across, and pretty quick release and a nice effort of Demko getting across, and last second just got the crook of the... They fits for the puck, T.J. Brody unable to advance it, and a centering pass, and Campbell with a nice stop there, off Hoaglander in front. He's trying to get a piece of it, this one's so quick in developing that Campbell just made sure he got his glove up there. All that much more impressive in a shorter period of time. That's the 28th game he scored a goal this year. Nine goal lead over Connor McDavid playing Montreal, but because they had been beaten twice by Vancouver, it was on his mind even before the Montreal game. There's a shot by BC flagged down by Campbell. Tanner Pearson, the Canuck goal scorer, after it deep in the zone, and Matthews dropped it off. A chance at Pearson is stopped on a glove save by Campbell, a back pass in the zone by Matthews. Campbell, this one's thinking offense as Matthews gets a hold of it here, but he drops it back to Felino. He's unable to get that quick read, and Campbell, though, was expecting the quick little release shot, and he gets the glove off. Sutter wins it. The next time for fourth in the league in face-off efficiency of 53.1%. Here's a steal here, Matthews scores! Austin Matthews has doubled down, and it's 38 and counting. He's been able to make the play happen by in the corner, pursuit of the puck, gets down quickly, strips the puck, and then just a quick little read and an adjustment. You know that Matthews is going to be ready to shoot. Edler exposes it to the inside, and Marner, with that little hesitation, finds the lane. Another deflection in front. Did that? Lynn's got it, and the shot of a Saskatchewan product gets it across. Highmore with the shot, and the rebound is sent wide of the net. Puck from the corner, played ahead, and Simmons sends it up for McCamp. Got a step, got a break. And a one hand, Demko gets a pan down. Sandin a shot. Demko comes across to make the save with the stick lying out in the slot. That he's quickens and Schmidt.
Quick pass to Miller. Besser's on the move. Hoaglander right on. A stop by Campbell, and they puck played off Miller. On his numerical counterpart, Zach McEwen, who is loose. Here's Matthews with Martyr. The sauce in front, and Martyr stopped by Demko. And continuous play. Matthews with the saucer pass in, but look at the stick there of Myers. That long reach of Myers just got enough of it, didn't allow Marner to get it right at the last second, tried with one hand on his stick. Riley Nash also skating, still has not made an appearance in a lead lineup so far this season, and this is the 19th game in a row that Vancouver has been without Elias Pettersson after playing. Just seven games in April. Maple Leafs were 9-3-2 and two in the month of April. Here's Justin Hall scores! Let it fly! And did Brooks tip it? A Thatcher Demko. This is a battle one in the corner that Joe Thornton gets out. Quick shot and right there, just a little dip. Look at the reaction of the goaltender. He thought it was going right into his glove. Hall with the one-timer. There's just enough of a deflection that it just settles itself down underneath the glove. Demko thought he had a track, was in good position, and it ends up in the back of the net. And Nylander plays it to the near side corner. Nylander behind the net. Galchenyuk trying to make himself available. Nylander had room to come out, and Demko stops him. On Tavares, remember earlier when it looked like Nylander had a chance to maybe walk in and felt Miller against Kerfoot, and the Canucks get control of the puck, but well, Simmons hops on it, gets it back for the lead. Here's Wayne Simmons, swung it on goal. Demko's lost the goal stick again. This anticipates the loss and gets there before Schmidt. They kind of went a little too far, but credit to keep your legs moving, turn back quickly, and you can see Demko got a little bit of collision there with his stick on Schmidt. Three straight for Toronto after Tanner Pearson opened the scoring. Myers and Hughes. That one intercepted, and it's Nylander in front. Stop, rebound. Galchenyuk scores. Creating a turnover. In on the forecheck to the start of Galchenyuk. An errant pass. Now the turnover gone one way. And on the rebound, Dr. Demko left alone. Is able to take care of Nylander as Tavares filters that one through. There's the first save, but right on the doorstep. Good patience by Galchenyuk, though. Made sure he pulled it away, got it around the pad, and up and in for his first in seven games. And off his stick. Brooks and Lind. Oh, here's the steal. Spets in front. Demko gets a piece of that. And a penalty coming up. As Jason Spets up. Has the chance and Defco has the save. Morgan Riley back in his own zone. Now up ahead, that's Thornton at the line, open net, and Joe Thornton scores. Goal number 425 for Thornton. Movement able to get a piece of it. Dermott with the outlet pass. And how many times has Joe done this in his career? To dial it up against Edmonton on Monday, the Maple Leafs closer to nailing down first in the North. Austin Matthews leads the charge in a 5-1 win here tonight.